David Sania, la plus. Raphaël et David, vous avez. C'est parfait. A ver qué voy a colocar yo. Bienvenue à championnat national de France euh, 2018. Reaching the top eight stage. Five Spanish players make top eight stage. One one British player, and to my understanding, two French players, Francois Couet and Arnaud Collier. Paul Follon is representing the United Kingdom, and here we've got on this table we've got. Uh, Utsi Usale and Ruben Creo, which are local teammates from Bilbao, from the Bilbao area. They're facing off to see who makes it through to the top four. On another table, we've got two Spanish players as well, Ekate Frail and Cristobal Pereiro, who we saw Cristobal in the last round proceed after defeating um, Swiss player Lucas Bollock. <laughs> and the only, other Sp the only other Spanish player is on table number four, facing off against Francois Coué. And it's a pretty similar list matchup as well. Francois, Redline, Defrain, Def and um, Whisper. Uh, against the same thing on the other side of the table. Let's have a look at what we got. Uh, Paul is playing uh, the scum, the mini scum swarm that we saw earlier today. Let me see. Where am I? Top. Okay. Paul, full on. He's like 31st place. Yeah, Paul is playing Fenrao Cavill with Iron Cannon Turret, Han Solo, <laughs> Palab Gadalhi, Debris Gambit, Moldy Gold Pro, and Jakku Gunrunner. And Kotte Arnaud. <laughs> is playing a double Phantom Bomber list with, uh, let's have a look here. We got Echo. With Duke and Seventh Sister. Oh, what have I done there? That wasn't right. <laughs> Echo with Seventh Sister. Sigma Squadron Ace with Duke, Collision Detector, and Darth Vader. And Major Rhymer with Advanced Proton Torpedoes, Proton Bombs, Afterburners, and Fifth Brother. Wow, that's a pretty crazy list, actually. But I've already seen Paul today, so I kind of wanted to avoid it. Uh, so, well, let's see how they do. I mean, if Arnaud makes it through the top four, I want to see his game, surely. Uh, out of the players that are in the top eight, players that we've already seen on stream this weekend, Cristobal Pedrero, Paul Fort on, Ertzi Ursula, Riven Crayon now, but Oriol Barnes and Francois Corret we've already seen. So uh, <laughs> it was basically between, as we'd already seen Paul full on today, 
We couldn't see uh, table number two, so table number three became the obvious choice because we'd already seen Cristobal, Barnes, and Corre. Corre. <laughs> So obviously, uh, being very close friends and teammates, there is a little bit of... Oh, wait, I, I messed up. One thing I didn't do while I was waiting for them, while I was getting them set up. Hello? Orange. White and turquoise. And on this side we've got Jonas is with purple. <laughs> Blue. Yeah, I mean we're friends. I mean he's from where I got so. So it's Green. a mirror and even a funny game because we're friends. We're friends. Um, red. So there you go, all the bombers have got coloured ID tokens on them. The one that's marked as white on Uzi's side of the table is because it's got a white coloured base marker. They've got target locks to match. Uh, so yeah, it's just a question of working out. So yeah, of the, of the of the matchups that we had to pick, uh, this was about as good as it was going to get. Really, um, the, in the top eight, there are zero rebels. No, sorry, there's two rebels, <laughs> six imperials and one scum. That's not right. Five imperials and one scum. Two rebels. Uh, we'd already seen Cristobal play in the last round, so we wanted to skip him this time, uh, and we wanted to get Ursi and uh, Ruben on this time round. And obviously, uh, the situation is they want to. <laughs> I don't really see this bit there being any way of doing this apart from just kind of like um, train wrecking into each other. What we're obviously going to see here is we're going to see that basically the two of them turn into that corridor they've made out of the asteroids and just try and uh, have, the have the bombers pound each other to death and see who gets lucky with the re-rolls from Jonas. Uh, and then it's probably Death Rain is probably going to try and nuke a Jonas off the table as soon as possible while flanking in. Uh, maybe in this situation, uh, it'd be interesting to see the maneuvers on this turn. Uh, but at, at right now, Ruben's death reign seems to be in a much more vulnerable position than Utsi, for example. So it could be even, uh, depending on the next, m the next phase, uh, if 
it may well be that. <coughs> See, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they want to take the the death rain off the table first. I don't think that's a good idea. I would rather take Jonas off. Anyway, um, so let's just take a look at the bracket as it's evolved. Uh, let's go with this button. <coughs> Over the course of the day, uh, that's how the top 16 progressed through to top 8. <coughs> we had a top 32. You can find all lists published on the First Earth Facebook page, so do please go and have a look at that. Obviously, there's no real relation between uh, of working out how they match up on the bracket, as you see now. Uh, you'd have to do that yourself, uh, but let's be thankful that we had that, that information available. <laughs> so go to facebook.com forward slash first earth TV and uh, you'll be able to find the most recent post on there is this morning's post where I announced that we we're starting the stream and included an image with all of the top 32 lists. Trajectory simulator launches a proton bomb forward from um, from Ruben, and he takes the opportunity to barrel roll to starboard, going as far forward as he can. straight with his bombers, uh, Uzi has turned in to, uh, so it definitely looks like in this case, Ruben is focusing more on death rain, whereas Uzi's <coughs> priority target could be um, death rain or Jonas at this stage. But he's probably going to find that whilst uh, Ruben's going to get several attacks off this round, I think only Utsi will have Utsi will only have death rain at range. <coughs> oh, okay. Not expecting that. Definitely. I don't know, man. Uh, I would have thought he was going to focus fire on death rain. Focuses. And I don't think he's got arc on death rain at all. What the hell happened there? So he's lost the shield to the proton bomb. Oh, they both did. I thought he wasn't at range. <laughs> one hit, one crit in a blank. And the barrage rockets evades one, so takes another. Oh, 
Looks like one hit, one crit, and one evade, one blank. Takes another shield. Oh, that's a weapon. <laughs> oh, what is it? It's not weapons failure, it's the uh, wounded pilot. So, two hits, rolls a focus, spends the focus, loses the last shields on death frame. Three hits, one of it, nothing on the evade dice. Face up damage card is a direct hit. Rolls one hit, one crit, two hits and a crit with a focus. One evade, gets saves from two. And that's a it's weapons failure. Rolls a hit, a crit and a focus, spends the focus. Blank. Two and a, and a crit. One, two. And that's a console fire. <laughs> and dead. Death ray. So that's worked out. Usually in uh, Ruben's favor, despite it, I thought um, Ruben would have gone st straight with his death rain and been able to get all fire off. Uh, but yeah, it looks like he. Um, and I'm, I didn't take uh, one of the, the wounded pilot off of the Scimitar squadron. <coughs> It was always going to be a fast game, the, we're, we're just by the, the nature of the lists uh, and the fact that there was no other way of, of approaching the engagement uh, than to just keep the bombers together, try and flank with death rain. And I think Ruben made the, the better engagement in the first round. I just like I said, I would have thought it, uh, his death ring would have gone one straight and uh, been able to do more. Well, he, he got what he wanted anyway. Death, uh, Utsi's death ring is off the board. Just feel it was a bit more, uh, it was a bit more of a, it wasn't such an obvious transaction. And his own death rain limps along with one hole point, uh, giving him that one last opportunity now to fire a to launch a proton bomb and fire another salvo of barrage rockets. Disengaging. Okay, interesting. And he's probably at range one of that bomb, so not sure. What, um, what he's done. Oh, 
Not able to keep the remove the uh, wounded pilot crit with the action. Ruben did very well at the Spanish national as well. gets a direct hit. And their friend boosted that range. Okay. This has been a very favorable engagement for, a very favorable situation for Ruben then. Ruben really, Really took control of this situation early and made it worth his while. Two focuses, spends the focus. You can see a focus and something hidden. Takes only one. Rerolls for Captain Jonas, gets two hits after spending a focus token, and Ruben rails one evade and a focus. Takes some double damage on the red one. Three crits, it looks like. Evades one, takes two. That's a damage sensor array, and that's a loose stabilizer. Hit, hit, blank, re-rolls for Jonas, gets nothing. One of eight, takes one. And the red one lives to fight another day. Similar situation to Death Rain. And that's a blind whoops pat what's it begins with an S stun pilot. <laughs> Guys, come on, let's see, keep the dice on the table at least. So he's now got. Oh, he's dead. I don't know if my system updated correctly. One, two, and the crit is another wounded pilot. And then you go back to Dallas finally. Ooh. And 
and uh, Ruben lost one of his bombers that round eventually. So once again, uh, uh, let me just take a moment here to quickly inform you that uh, this uh, live stream is brought to you in large part thanks to the Patreon supporters we have. Please do consider visiting www.patreon.com forward slash first earth to uh, contribute and make it possible to make even more events in the future. Um, all of the money that I receive through there goes straight into transport for events and when I'm not going to events, then it's uh, used for buying new equipment. And so for that reason, there isn't really any real reward in doing it at the moment, apart from the quality of the content that you're watching right now as we are here. And there's a lot of open events coming up, and I'd like to get to as many of those as possible, so please do consider um, chipping in on the First Earth Patreon and making that a little bit easier for me. And if you can't contribute through Patreon and you are an Amazon Prime subscriber, please do remember that you also have some free tips that you can give to Twitch streamers, courtesy of, a, of the Twitch Prime subscription that comes included with your Amazon Prime subscription. Amazon Prime uh, gives Twitch, Twitch Prime uh, users a few tips, uh, kind of like, imagine like tip tokens that you can give to your favorite streamers every month. Uh, they call them Twitch subscriptions, but they don't really have anything to do with a subscription, so it makes no difference there. But yeah, they, uh, you can decide every single month which one, of the, um, which one of the channels you like can receive those free donations. And so please do. Every little bit that we receive is greatly received and goes a long way to help and make sure I can get to as many tournaments as possible. Three hits, two blanks. On to Jonas. Two focuses and a crit. And one was one evade. Takes two then. I didn't see it was my, I think it from what he said, I think it's damage sensor array. I uh, took it off. Rolls one gets a focus and a crit. Two hits and a crit. Rolls one evades, takes one and a crit. Blinded pilot. <laughs> no, sorry, not blinded pilot. Panic pilot. Blinded pilot was the symbol they had in first edition. That's a panic pilot. <laughs> so now Ruben returns fire, and it's it's going really well for him. Three blanks until then. <laughs> Rerolls two, gets a hit and a focus, converts for two, takes one, two. So it must have been a direct hit. Jonas is off the board on Uti's side of the table. Uh huh. Another three damage cards onto one of the scimitars, down to one hole point. Uh, not looking good, not looking good at all for Utsi. The French dream comes to an end here. And I mean, Defrain could even do a hard three and boost and get Ark back in on this round and do some more damage.
So, I mean, I might as well just tick the box, isn't it? Ruben's going through. <laughs> oh, dear. What did I just do? Did I just mess things up? I am not sure. It shouldn't have affected anything. Let me clear this right now. Everything seems to be okay. It's a good job of pursuing. <laughs> All right, and we've got range already, so doesn't need to do anything. It just takes the focus. Death rain fires gets two and a blank. One evade. Dead bomber. Oh, no, 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 no. Two. One, two hits and a blank. Repeats the cock die, gets a focus. Spends it. And blocks one after spending a focus. Death Rain takes his last damage card. So now everything. Uh, Ruben's still got the advice of Jonas hanging around. Uh, he's out of arcs. Rolls a hit. Evaded. Rolls two. It looks like it might have taken. Might have been evaded. Yep. And they go back to Dars quickly. They're, they're in a rush to finish this up. He pulls a 4k, a uh, two hard turn to the right from his two bombers. And he decides to barrel roll instead of focusing. This one probably not going to be so lucky. Oh. <laughs> 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 
So as you get saved on this match, it doesn't look like he's got any arcs on that yellow bomber. Firing on the blue bomber. One hit. And evades. Two hits. Nothing. <laughs> Lewis is Captain Jonas. And that works out well for Utsi. Uh, I mean, the ice variants could now be something that decide this game if. Uh, Oh, yeah. Okay, so he's got arc with one. Rolls three dice, gets hit, and. Oh gosh. Two hits. One and something. Takes a damage card. And they go at stars. So for now, uh, Ruben's two bombers untouched, no damage done, and uh, Utsi down to three hit points on the table. One bomber on two, one bomber on one. Correct. Let me see, where's the... That one's got three. One, two, three. No. So that one should be on four. On three. That one's on three. And the one, one, two, three, four, five, down to one, yeah. Four hit points on the table. One bomber on three, one bomber on one. And the one that's on three is the one that's right next to them right now, so probably not going to get much of an opportunity to fire. Stop. 3k. One hit, takes it. Uh, 
Barrage Rockets gets three hits and takes two. Now, th the downside here is that obviously um, Ruben's going to just um, waste a shot here, taking that one hit bomber off the table. Weapons failure, Re disabled power regulator, sorry. We dumped it. No, we dumped it. No. Catevon. Catevon. Hemos tenido que pensar más para elegir el menú de Sí, porque encima no teníamos una mierda. Correcto. ¿Qué tienes? Pues que estábamos borrachos, yo sé. ¿Dónde está mi ojo que te me ha notado por el culo? Perdí a mi ojo de fondo. ¿Dónde está mi ojo todo para Bueno, vimos aquí Cinco coins, cinco coins. No damage. And they go back to dials again. couple of range one shots here. And barrel rolling to get out of the arc. Did he K turn anything? No. No, no, you already, I thought you'd already done the one straight to get rid of the stress. Uh, So he's going to have to try and weather this shot. Obviously, he's got the uh, no damage on the one that's in arc. So at best, uh, Ötzi manages to get him down to half points. Two hits. <laughs> two blanks. And this is where it's going to be a question of deciding whether or not uh, Utsi can, is able to take advantage of the positioning. He looks like he's going to K turn. Oh, so K turning. And this might be now where things, uh, unless Utsi can pull out some pretty clever maneuvers next turn, 
He, uh, once again, Ruben's just going to weather a shot here. Hit and crit. Two evades. And no, no, just a bunch of focus, to focus results on Ruben's dice. So now Ruben, obviously, we're talking about one straight, one straight. Maybe uh, Utsi decides to try and pull off a white maneuver, no, not remove the stress, get it. himself into a position that's more favorable. Uh, but if not, this could be the end of the game. Uh, and it would be difficult for Utsi to try and weather two uh, attacks from Ruben. Banks into it. That one straight's gonna fit. As will the one behind. Target locks to make sure he drives it home. So regardless, uh, Utz is gonna take two shots at range one. And even if he manages to kill the blue one with a perfect shot, one hit. and an evade so here we come here comes uh, Ruben's two shots he'd have to really get bad dice to mess this up which one's going to attack first the green one or the blue one makes no difference but blue one's focused and target locked and green one is just target locked two hits rerolls with a target lock doesn't get anything to no evades down to one hit point. Blanks out. Spends a target lock. Ertz is hoping for blanks. Gets a hit. Ertz has got a roll and evade to stay on the table and fails. Uh, okay, so we'll do a little bit in English first, okay? Is that okay? Let's turn your microphone up. Well done to making it top eight. Utsi, is that how we say it? Utsi? Yes, Utsi. Utsi, okay. Um, then you end up getting paired against your, 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 one of your home team rivals, no? Yeah. Uh, and obviously you guys have taken it in good humor. Yeah, yeah, of course, like we were yeah. playing and we were taking the range, it was like, yeah, more or less. Yeah. Um, in this case, uh, was there really any way of really approaching this to kind of try and get some favor out, or was it just always going to be a train wreck of the two lists bumping into each other? I mean, it was more a matter of crits. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I got the initiative, that was a good point, but then I scored no crits in the first shots, and he got like, with the uh, proton bomb, he got two double damages, one yeah. on each bomber, and I was like, okay, that's four free damage. That's uh -huh. But I mean, also in that first exchange that he had a situation where it, was, it seemed more favorable to him yeah, that he was able to get uh, attacks onto your death rain, take him off the table, and, and by, by luck of the dice, he was able to keep his death rain on the table one turn longer, be able to drop that bomb. Yeah. Uh, but what I'm saying is, is a question of, was there, was there any other way of doing it apart from just going at each other and just seeing what the dice came up? Is there any space in it? In, in his case, it felt like he had a better board presence. He managed to get all of his arcs on death rain straight away, and yours were kind of like a little bit further behind didn't really have so much target options I mean I was playing a little bit more conservative at the beginning because I didn't know if he wanted to kind of run or he wanted to just uh, just in the middle okay so that's why he started with uh, one see what was going on and then as soon as I saw that she was rushing to the middle I was like I gotta rush too because if not I'll be left behind okay all right uh, okay so let's switch over to Spanish then a ver que algo en concreto que te, te lo daba como una le has dicho no el bombo de protones lo que básicamente ver, he definido de partida los, lo que ¿no? más iba a decir la partida en los críticos de, pues si me salían a mí críticos de pues, piloto cegado o yeah. un dado menos a mí al disparar primero pues sí me habría ventaja pero no y luego pues que él ha tenido suerte y los críticos le han salido tres dobles daños 
Eh, mm. El de las tensiones, que bueno, al final los críticos de las tensiones mandan un poco igual, porque yeah, decía final, ojo y luego pues me tensionaba, no. pues bueno. Y se dejaba la cosa un poco más de que... Y tampoco es que la partida estaba acabada. En las últimas tres rondas te has intentado, uh, te has conseguido uh, trepar otra vez con no, el, no, el está, solitario. Está claro, aunque solo me quedan dos bombers, he dicho, bueno, pues lo que tiren los bombers tirarán y yeah. lo que no, pues oye. Vale, hasta pues otro ya día. Está. Ahí en el, en el último he intentado solaparle uno y, dispara, y que entonces solapase al otro. A ver si, pues eso, disparamos los dos a mano, a mano alzada, vale. tres para tres, pero bueno, al final ha entrado por un pelo. Pues ya está. Vale, pues Hola. ahora como él está, hablaré con él. Gracias. Suerte. Ok, Ruben, sit down, please. So, Ruben, top four at the French National 2018. How did you do it in Spain? Remind me. Uh, how did you do in Spain, in the Spanish National? Ah, yes, uh, very good. I went to the final. To the final, that's yeah. right. I know you got I far. I lose to Campaño. Yeah. And uh, was it the same list you were playing in Spain? Yes, it's the same. Yeah. And uh, have you found it uh, to be a particularly powerful week against anything specifically? You've done well this weekend. What is it? What are the counters for your list? Sorry, what? The what are the counters? What are the things ah, the that counters. you're weak against? Yes, the, I think the main counter for my list is a spam of proton torpedoes, uh -huh. uh, rebel list. Yeah. Uh, it can potentially can. Uh, kill two bombers mm -hmm. in the first combat round yeah. and then I can do nothing. Yeah. But it's very difficult with each bomber has uh, six uh, halves and, and two base, so it's very difficult if uh -huh. I had with And, and yeah. speaking about uh, Compayo's list, um, yeah. which has now gone on to propagate throughout the world, uh, what do you think is like the, the, the main strong point of his list that you just couldn't take, you just couldn't take it down? It's a very good list. Uh, it has a lot of uh, modification with the net of action. Yeah. So it's very, uh, very flexible. Uh, I think the main point is that Palov and Fulham are a bit um, weak if you focus fire on them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Cambiamos a español. ¿Hay algo que quieres decir en, en concreto sobre la partida? De que ¿Sobre esta partida? Ya, ¿Tú crees que estaba hablando con Uzi? Sí. Es como que había una otra manera de hacerlo. ¿O era como destinado de que se iban a chocar los dos listas contra uno. Ah, no necesariamente. A ver, al final es tener control del rango. Y yeah. Al final es lo que ha pasado. Yo he podido aprovechar muy bien las bombas de protones y no. Yo lo vi como tu, tu primer enfrentamiento lo tenías más favorable, de que tu posicionamiento en el, sí. en el campo era mejor. Me sorprendí de que con Defrain, en la, cuando estabas acercando, uh -huh. decidiste hacer un bank hacia la izquierda, uh, porque yo pensaba que iba a ser un poco más recto y mantener fuego no. en Defrain. No, porque yo, de esa manera en el siguiente turno tiraba la bomba. Tiraba esa bomba y esto yo, yo iba a eso. Yeah. Pues es que si no es como pega como un bomber. Ya, yeah, pero la no única cosa es que estaba pensando que quizás si habría sido recto, a lo mejor él ni había llegado a tirar cohetes. Porque era el su Punisher dices? No, sus bombas. Ah. Que estaban muy retirados. Y conseguían tirar dos, ¿no? Porque tú habías hecho el bang. Sí. Y yo estaba diciendo, pues quizás si no habrás... Uh, habrás tira, si habrás intentado centrar el fuego en, uh, en, los, uh, en el death frame, en uh -huh. el primer round, y después tener toda tu lista contra las cuatro bombas que quizá Y podrías haber tirado, lanzado... Um, no, hombre, en esta ronda no, pero más tarde, uh, como seguían todos juntos, la bomba de protones en el medio de ellos y cosas así, no sé. Bueno, Era yo, un poco la, lo sí. que me sorprendí. Yo esperaba, yo esperaba que ibas a estar bom, 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 y aprovechar de que él había quedado un poco más atrás con los bombes, pero decidiste ir para tirar la bomba el siguiente turno. No sé si sí, claro. no, quería centrarme en el Punisher, porque el Punisher yeah. te condiciona muchísimo más la partida. Ya. Yeah. Y a su vez yo puse mi punice para condicionarle a él el movimiento y que se tragara el crítico. Y en una situación así, con, una lista, con las listas uh, tan parafiras... Uh, <risa> Idénticas. Ya, yeah, el, um, el primer jugador tiene algo que ver, tiene mucho que ver, que es una cosa que... ¿La iniciativa? Ya. Yeah. Bueno, sí, eh, a ver, te puedo bloquear. Yeah. O sea, puede tirar largo con uno, yeah. eh, o yo que sé, un tres suave y luego tonel, cualquier cosa, uh -huh. y se oye... Los bloqueos que te haga son barrets que te quita. O sea. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Ok. Bueno, pues ya está. Lo dejamos en un descanso antes del top 4. ¿Vale? Muy bien. Muchas gracias, Rubén. Un placer, como siempre.